Hmm. Interesting. Who are you? Let's see. Now would you look at that? Are you Gilbert? What? Well, we were sent here by Mother Kalia, from the refugee camp in the south. I'm searching for a certain Gilbert who stole rations and left them to starve in the wilderness. I don't know any Gilbert. Now, please. Hi, Gilby. Who are those men? Do, do, do they have any news of Mary? She, she should <coughs> be, be back from the marketplace by now. Dad, not, not now. Gilby. Hmm. Blazes. I knew this wouldn't end well. I, I'm Gilbert, and I stole the provisions. Just didn't think they'd send a sellsword after me. Now, please, if you're here to kill us, just get it over with, will you? Me and my old man have suffered enough already. Why did you do it? Steal the provisions? So she didn't tell you. Figures. Well, then I will. Mother Callier, the wise old woman. After the provisions ran low, she cut the rations. We know that much already. Also that her plan was to cut the rations for my father entirely? Because he was dying already and it would be mercy? I tried to tell her that it wasn't too late for him. But she wouldn't listen. So in the end, I had no choice. I took Dad, packed all the food I could carry and left. I honestly hope they all rot in the claws of Nor for turning their back on us. What's wrong with your father, anyway? I'm no apothecary, so I couldn't tell you. He's been getting worse for the last few months, but it started getting really bad around two weeks. Now look at him. He doesn't even recognize me half of the time. I won't lie. It's hard for the two of us. Your father mentioned a Mary. Is it more than just the two of you? What? Oh, no. Mary was... Dad has been... Well... Seeing her for the past couple of days, and...
Keep the provisions. You and your father have suffered enough. I'll tell Mother Kalia that I couldn't find you. Wait, you... are you serious? I am. You... Forget about it. You'll hand over all of these sacks right now, and we'll take them back to the refugees. But... Tahar, don't test my patience. His father is sick, all right. But he would have left those people out in the wilderness to starve to death. He doesn't deserve any mercy. Well, then your death on him. But I guess there's nothing I can do. Here's the rations. Take them, and tell that bloody old wench she'll burn in the fires of Bogagor for this. Dad, we need to go now. I'll carry you, so just hang in there, will you? You need to. Go. Yes. Yes, we will. Was that really necessary? You can't legitimize a crime like that, regardless of the reasons. And when did I ask for your opinion? I'm sorry, sir. No need. Interesting. Good to see you back, soldier. Any luck with the provisions yet? Actually, let's talk about Gilbert first. I think you left out something there, didn't you? The boy wasn't a simple thief. He was just protect- <sighs> I had a feeling you were going to say this. I, I left that part out. But why shouldn't I? That boy was delusional. He kept on giving our best provisions to his old man, who was already one foot into the grave. I see your point. Still, you shouldn't have lied, especially not to a member of the Wolf Guard. I know, and I'm sorry. Here's the food. We made sure Gilbert won't bother you again. Let me see. Blazes, yes. That's almost all of it. Thank you. Ah, uh, wait a moment. Here, take this. It's something I- Thank you. Best of luck to you and your people. And to you. All right, that was the last distraction. Let's get back to the task at hand. Understood. Whatever's necessary. What is it? Pray tell. Made it. The barriers are down. Yet no sign of their scryer. What the? You bastard! Charge. Don't say now. I didn't warn you. Langar, this isn't over. Gone. Damn it. <sighs> Psst. 
Karpel, Tahar, return to the outpost at once. They need someone to... Stood. What about the village? Anselm and I will guard it. The rest of the wolf guard should arrive any second now. We will just have to hold the village until then. Now move! All right, Tahar, let's move. Back to the outpost and quick. more than I expected. Get ready, Tahar. More of them! Take them down! Stop. Stop. That's enough. Please, just... just listen to me. Let's see. Please, I... I give up. All that, we... we didn't want any of it. You should have thought of that before you attacked us. Yes, I know. Scryer Elian told us about you. About the reason you're here and your... disagreement. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Your people opened fire on us. Yes. And they shouldn't have. Elion, she... got scared. <sighs> she had her orders, you know? To protect the village. It was never our intention to start a war. Whatever your intentions, this is Nortander territory. Capturing a village, invading our lands... I know, but the situation required that we acted quickly. And given... recent developments in your country, we could not... Recent developments? Yes. The purity of light and their persecution of mages. Especially to us as elves, who are almost all magically gifted. <sighs> we just don't understand why Lord Marshal Arendir just lets them do as they please. And that justifies breaking a century-old treaty between our races? <laughs> That's some strange reasoning. I get your concerns. That's a relief. I was beginning to fear all of Nortander had lost their minds. Either way, 
This is a different topic. It is. If it wasn't your intention to start a war, then what was it? Why did you come here? For the same reason you're here. The Bloodburn. The Moorhear Elves have been struck by it too. At least we believe so. You believe so? Yes. There's discussion about that going on in Leafshade as we speak. Suffice it to say that the symptoms of the blood... That's... So you're here to... Yes. We are here to study an outbreak... F and you aren't afraid? We don't. You see, that's one of the many misconceptions you humans have about the Bloodburn. It's not... And thus, it's not contagious. You could ask a dying woman for a dance and it would not affect you. How can you be so certain? Just observe the pattern. It can wipe out an entire village, but the one a mile south of it remains unaffected. And for some reason, it may take a strong man of thirty winters and spare his grandmother. Where's the logic in the- Maybe we just haven't understood the pattern yet. If you think it's contagious, you must have brought some protection, didn't you? Yes. Please show me. Here. Sorry, Tahar, but I want to see this. <laughs> just as I suspected. Watch. What the? What are you doing? You're drinking it. Yes. Because it's just fire nettle extract, nothing else. Your medicine is completely useless, and whoever brewed it knew that. Please, I beg you, you need to believe me. The blood burn isn't an ordinary- Then what is it? This is what we're trying to find out. But, as of now, we believe it to be a curse of sorts. One originating from a very- So this is it, Evran. The truth. We are here to understand. Someone told me you arrived here several days before the out- And to you, that looks suspicious. I understand. But believe me, we didn't- We knew it would happen in Leonon because we learned that there are certain... Sights. Such as odd noises? So you know. Yes. Odd noises. Or even a voice, as some have claimed. Strangely enough, not everyone can hear them. All this. Huh. In other words, you knew an outbreak in Leonin was imminent, and decided to come here to observe it. Yes. We also hoped to help, but none of the remedies we had prepared worked. It was tragic and got under our skins. Which is probably one of the reasons why- I still don't understand, though. Why didn't your scryer let us in? Isn't it obvious? Because she wanted to prevent you from carrying out that order. What order? To examine the bloodburn? Oh. I see. Your... General. I'm afraid he didn't fill you in on your- The village is to be purged. Every survivor, children, women, elders, will be killed. The Crown believes this is what it takes to prevent the Bloodburn from spreading to Greyfell. <sighs> this is ridiculous. How in blood- Can't you guess? We have ears in Greykeep, as you probably have in Leafshade. Then we need to stop him. I was hoping you would say that. I would help you if I could, but given what's happened, I doubt my presence would help. In other words, it's in your hand. We will withdraw our people until dawn. Farewell, Evran. And thank you for sparing me. Bertrand, what do you make of this? Of what that elf just told us? Yeah. Huh. Honestly, no idea. I don't think he's lying, but that doesn't mean they're right. Especially not that part about our orders. And if they are, what should we do? <sighs> I don't know. We can't refuse an order, can we? You know, that would make us deserters. Yeah, you're right. I'm ready.
Orders? Interesting. Tahar. Anselm, what happened? Where's the general? Up north. He left us in charge. What about the outpost? Is it safe? Since you just strolled in here, I suppose the elves have somehow surrendered. They have. Look, Anselm, I need to talk to the general. There's something about the bloodburn we didn't need. Save your breath for later, Corporal. This place is getting purged. Purged? You mean... Yes, it's tragic, but there's no other choice. The general said it was the plan all along. Until we know how this plague spreads, we cannot allow any of these people to leave. Not alive. So you knew this is what we're here for. Why did he tell you and not us? He didn't. I only just learned it myself. This is insane. Look at these people. Anselm, we can't- What do you want me to do, Tahar? Fall on my knees and cry? It's an order, and we are soldiers. It's as simple as that. But the General doesn't have the information we have. He should know before we do anything. But take an hour to catch up by now, and even if you were to tell him, he seemed pretty set on this. Which I understand. It's all of Nortenda we're gambling with. Maybe all of Eo. Forget it. I'm not killing these people, and you won't either. And that's what I wanted to hear. One last thing before we kill you, betrayer. Do you remember her face? Whose face? What in the blazes are you talking about? <laughs> what am I talking about? Well, that's a damn good question. Eight years ago in Iskander, when your father tried to execute you and the wolf guard stopped him, it was my sister who paid the price for it. Isamo Tahar. He burned her alive. He blasted the skin from her skull. And all just because of you! But no, that wasn't enough. Instead of killing you like he should have, General Noria took you in. Trained you as if you were something special. Anselm, this isn't fair. This isn't fa fair. Fuck fair! She died, damn it! She died! Only so this piece of shit could live! Good thing is, you refused the direct order. So we don't even need to cover this up. Now let's get this over with. No, Anselm! You can't do this! Watch me. Bertrand, this wasn't our fault. We just have to... Tahar! There's news from the jet... Tiara's breath? What... What happened here? We, we, we can explain. They... Stay where you are. Slaughtering your own brethren. I can't believe it, Tahar. I should have guessed. Drop that weapon now. And you too, Carpal. Unless you want to save the hangman some work. Hangman? What do you think? You're charged with high treason. Betrayed by the betrayer's child. The general will love to hear this. I told you this would happen, Angar. I told you. I just can't believe this is all you have to say in your defense to her. 